like some of your dead ends. It's not super even, but that's not my fault because somebody doesn't take care of their hair, you know, because of the whole depression thing. Just... <laughs> 
need to stop being lazy and you need to just really start taking care of yourself because it's honestly, like, no offense, kind of embarrassing being your friend and walking next to you sometimes, so, um, you need to start, you need to just start taking care of yourself. Quit with this depression thing, it's, like, not really cute, it's, not, it's kind of, like, attention calling, you know? It kind of seems like you just, like, want attention and it makes you look poor. Well, my hands are now covered in filth, so I'm gonna have to go take like a four hour shower. And here you can just like keep all this stuff because, like, it's definitely infected. Here, here's your hair, and here is some scissors that you can keep because I already know that they're infested, and you can just have this hair straightener too, okay? Here, just like keep all that because I love like you know helping once in need and you should also let people know that I helped you out because like honestly I'm a really good person for doing this and not a lot of people would but I'll recommend you save up a little more money and like actually go to a salon I know that may be hard for you but I feel like if you weren't so lazy and you would quit with this depression thing like you could actually maybe look less like a cave woman and more just like a hairy man. Yeah. Oh, well. So, um, I'm gonna let you go because now I have to de-infect my room, okay? Okay. Um, 